Welcome back. If you're joining us here right in time for eTrends on this lovely, lovely Friday, as we talk about the trending entertainment topics that have happened throughout the week, and me and Tasha break it down and have a conversation as we share with perspectives. Now, of course, we're going to start off with the first story for the day where a jury in Derek Chauvin trial finds him guilty of murdering a George Floyd. Now, Mr. Chauvin, a former Minneapolis, Minneapolis pardon me, police officer, was found guilty of second degree murder, third degree murder, and second degree manslaughter. Now, the death of uh, Mr. Floyd has sparked the largest civil rights protest in decades throughout the whole of the United States. So, of course, this news came and it was such an amazing, amazing um, experience. And, you know, people are just happy that he was able, that George Floyd was able to get justice. Now, Tasha, I just wanted to get to know your views. Did you feel at some point when this trial was going on, because I, I, there was a lot of clips that were being shared on social media mm -hmm. about this trial and how they were just trying to pin George Floyd as an individual who was in, you know, he was doing drugs, drugs, different causes of his death rather than, you know, this individual killing him. They're just trying to find different mm. paths of saying someone else killed him. What were your views and thoughts when you came across <laughs> those videos? <laughs> the funny one was when the medical expert said that he died of heart failure because he had an underlining issue. Did you, mm -hmm. did you I see that? I saw those things and I was just like, the video is right there. And I was like, what, what do you mean underlining causes? What are you trying to say? Did he have COVID? What are you trying to say? And that's 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 what killed him. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Um, I just thank God that this has actually come to pass. Mm -hmm. As it is another revolution, and it reminds us of Black history and so and where we've come from. As yeah. you know, even like me as an African, mm -hmm. I really um, I'm attached to it because I'm like, guys, you have come a long way. Although we still yeah. have a very very long way to go. Mm -hmm. You know, we still need to seek justice for the ones that we have lost. You know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, um, uh, in the words of, you know, mm -hmm. uh, George Floyd's daughter, daddy changed the world. Yes. And we like, it's just, it's just a good thing. to it's what definitely a, time to a good life. thing. Yeah. And, you know, knowing the fact that he was not only found guilty of one, but three, three. counts, what, what did you feel getting to see that? They would have even added homicide inside the, inside the, <laughs> inside. <laughs> They should have, <laughs> right? Yeah. Every type of, um, even overkill. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you killed him, you know, like a friend of mine was telling me, I asked him, what is overkill? He told me, overkill is when you kill somebody who's already dead. You're mm -hmm. killing him and you know that he's dying. Those that individuals who stab someone for like 37 yeah, times. Yeah, that's overkill. You know, like they would have added that kind of thing. You should have never even, you should never get out. Mm -hmm. So that you should be an example. We should just use one person as an example. One. Mm -hmm. And he should have been the example. Very true. He is actually. He is. And I was just super happy just to be able to see this amazing verdict and just getting justice for George Floyd. The way he died was not good. It was not good. Okay. It wasn't fair. And he definitely deserved he this at least. Justice, and I hope he's right. watching down and just seeing that, you know, he definitely has caused right. a whole civil rights movement. Not yeah. only just in America, <laughs> throughout the whole of the world. Throughout yeah, the whole of the world. So that's amazing work. for that. Uh, moving on swiftly, H&M has uh, launched an initiative offering free suit rentals to males for 24 hours. Now, H&M um, launched this service for people attending a job interview in an effort to boost their confidence and make a powerful first impression. The One Second Suit initiative enables customers to book a single-breasted navy blue jacket with matching trousers, a white shirt, navy blue tie, and red handkerchief for free. Customers can reserve the suit online and get it delivered to their door in a garment bag. After wearing it, they must receive turn the suit to a store where H&M will arrange washing and dry cleaning. All delivery charges are free. What are your thoughts about this, Tash? It's quite exciting. Do you remember that story we were doing we were with Steph? Mm -hmm. There was a dry cleaner mm. here. Mm -hmm. wo, wo, and they kind of do the same, the similar thing. And it's such a great initiative because you know, you'll initiative. find that, and specifically, it's you know, you'll find that suits are super expensive, right? Very expensive, right? You want to go for a job interview, you can't afford to buy yes. a suit, so it's such a smart initiative. I it's feel a like very smart initiative. Bring this to Kenya, you get what I mean? You'll yeah. find people can't afford to buy a good suit to look good. Mm. This will be such a great initiative, very, here. very good, especially come on, you get a come on, come on. Suit Sir Henry's. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> they should also give girls this. I, I would like to wear nice, you know, a nice suit. Suits, no. like, like, you know those nice suits we say our celebrities wear. Yes. Go for an interview, look like a boss lady, look like I'm driving. When a, you, you know, enter, a nice car. Nobody can refuse to give you the job. 
Amen. As Tasha said, right? I think we'll quote that. We say, when you enter, no one refuses to give you a job. It was aimless. It was aimless. It was like a business structure. Now we're going to move on to the last conversation of 40 Day on eTrends, where Netflix correction quarter streaming giant has stumbled after benefiting from early pandemic surge. Now, Netflix did benefit from a surge of demand for its streaming service in the first six months of the pandemic adding around 26 million subscribers in the first six months of the year 2020. Now, the company did not see those gains coming at the time, and now it's underestimated the pullback as the pandemic appears to be winding down. Still, there's room for long-term Netflix bulls to remain optimistic, but the company says it expects sub subscriber growth to re-accelerate in the second half of 2021 as a backlog of new shows and movies become available that were delayed amid pandemic shutdowns. Now, further average revenue per user continues to climb in all regions of the world for Netflix, where the average user in the United States and Canada now pays around $14.25 per month for Netflix, up to 9% <coughs> from a year ago. So the prices are clearly going up. So Netflix is feeling basically that since we're kind of going into a normal situation, guys are getting the vaccine, mm. um, life is sort of going back, back to normal, normal. slowly, mm. but slowly. Yeah. They feel like their subscription, subscription numbers are going to go down mm -hmm. because of that. Do you think that's actually going to happen? Do you feel like people are going to watch TV less now? Who wants to become a... Re uh, 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 was a prisoner for the rest of your life. Please, we are not. <laughs> we I go want to outside. go outside. I want to go to IMAX. I want to go and do all these things. But I feel like um, once you subscribe, once a subscriber, mm -hmm. always a subscriber. Always a subscriber. <laughs> what they can do, what they're doing now, mm -hmm. is just reducing their prices, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like you can also. They have go. to. They might have to reduce their prices yeah. if we go back to them because actually the prices went up up because of the numbers of sub subscribers they had. They felt like okay, we're gonna put this. I'm you know. just really sad about the the you know the other platforms that actually made a, you know we saw them yeah, yeah. last year 2020 um, Amazon Prime um, uh, is it uh, Disney Max is it mm. Disney Disney Plus Disney Plus yeah that actually started getting momentum now <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen it's true because right now when we go back to normality the issue is not competition with other streaming platforms the mm. issue is competition with even outdoor activities yes other things you know now we have so many things as human beings fighting for attention we want to go to <coughs> restaurants we want to meet friends outside yes. go to the amusement park or whatever you want to go it's no longer going to be spending time watching netflix in the right, house so right. i totally see those numbers going down to yeah. be quite honest i feel for everybody for everybody in every general. single person yeah every single person and i'm super excited to see how you know the streaming platforms will be able to deal with the situation oh my god this, now this is where brains marketing mm -hmm. all these things mm -hmm. come mm -hmm. into place mm -hmm. now they have Lando to be creative. netflix i'm a imax kwa sim to watch kama snapchat <laughs> I'm on Instagram. So no. How would that work? Yes, you watch movies, Sasa. Apana, like, I don't know. Like, you watch movies on the phone. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I, I don't you. know. You just, I, they have to just come up with really, really creative Yeah, to get ideas. our attention, definitely. You did. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm super excited to see how the subscribers, I mean, this net streaming platform is able to kind of, like, survive during this economic period, especially since we are taking steps to going back to normality day by day. Do share with us your views and thoughts on that particular uh, conversation. We'd love to know what your views and thoughts are on that. You can find us on uh, Metropole TV KE or you can reach me individually, Brandon Mchaba, and Tasha is I underscore am um, underscore. And that's on period. I didn't even <laughs> finish it, but it's like I wanted to finish it. But anyway, guys, that's it for eTrends today. Thank you so much for watching. We are not done. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.